Sky Vector is a great tool for checking the weather because it allows you to overlay several different weather products over familiar VFR sectional charts. From the Layers menu, you can turn on Surface Observations or METARs, Temporary Flight Restrictions, Pilot Reports, AirMets and SIGMets, Weather Radar, which you can play as an animation, and the Winds Aloft. The altitude for Winds Aloft can be controlled by clicking on the Flight Plan option and entering different altitudes into the flight plan. The easiest way to zoom in in Sky Vector is to enter a departure and destination airport into the flight plan that are pretty close together. The wind barbs can be pretty hard to see once you're zoomed in, so I find that turning them on and off helps my eye find them on the map. It's always a good idea to know the prevailing wind direction and speed from the surface up to at least 3,000 feet. For flights in the local practice area, I'll usually enable the METAR, pilot report, and weather radar layers. I'll also turn on each SIGMET and AIRMET layer one at a time, read any that overlap my area of flight, and then turn them back off. After that, I'll mouse over and read all the METARs for the airports surrounding the area where I'm going to be operating. In this case, I'll start first at Xenia, then Dayton Wright Brothers, then Middletown, then Oxford, Richmond, and finally Dayton International. Dayton International Airport also has a terminal area forecast. The full details of reading METARs and TAFs is out of scope for this video, but the key elements are the station time, the wind direction and velocity, the visibility, the sky condition, and the temperature and dew point. Weather reporting stations are also capable of detecting other weather phenomena, and when they do, they'll insert codes like these into the METAR text. PIREP decoding is also out of scope for this video, but the Sky Vector pop-up does a pretty good job pulling out the key elements. It's also a good idea to keep the temporary flight restriction layer turned on anytime you're using Sky Vector, but don't rely on it as a substitute for an official briefing from flight service. Finally, it's worth mentioning that Sky Vector has a cool feature that allows you to disable their sectional stitching functionality and look at only one sectional at a time. This is useful if you want to look at the chart legend so you can decode an unfamiliar symbol. Sky Vector also has options for terminal area charts, IFR low altitude and high altitude charts, and flyway charts.